The human brain, often referred to as the most intricate organ known to man, is a testament to the marvels of nature and to many the divine handiwork of God. This intricate network of neurons and synapses is not just a passive processor, it's a dynamic, evolving entity that continues to adapt throughout our lives. Neuroplasticity, or the brain's capability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, defies the once-held belief that the brain is static post-childhood. This malleability hints at an inherent grace, akin to the limitless mercy and adaptability we associate with God, allowing second chances, growth and redemption. Throughout the ages, many have seen the brain as the seat of the soul, the point of connection between our mortal existence and the divine. As it is written in Romans 12 verse 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. Given its dynamic nature, could the brain's ever-evolving pathways serve as conduits for God's messages? If God, in His infinite wisdom, created humanity in His image, then the brain's capacity for change and growth might be a reflection of God's own dynamic nature. As our experiences shape and rewire our brains, might we also be attuning ourselves more closely to God's frequency, receiving wisdom and guidance through this divine neural dance? Ancient scriptures, such as the Vedas, the Torah and the Quran, resonate profoundly with themes of metamorphosis, rejuvenation and the relentless pursuit of wisdom. The adaptability of the human brain, its ability to reform and learn, seems in sync with these spiritual principles. If the brain can forge new paths, learn from experiences, and even heal from trauma, then surely it's plausible that this same organ is designed to receive and understand divine communications. As with a radio, the right tuning can lead to clarity of reception. Similarly, a well-tuned mind, aided by neuroplasticity, might just be the perfect receiver for God's subtle broadcasts. Another intriguing aspect is how our choices and environments influence our brain. Just as we are advised spiritually to seek good company and shun harmful influences, our brain thrives or diminishes based on our surroundings and decisions. In religious terms, seeking wisdom, embracing patience and fostering love can be pathways to God. Neuroscientifically, these positive pursuits can sculpt the brain, further fortifying the idea that our journey to godliness is both spiritual and cerebral. As we consciously make choices that nurture our minds, the divine connection could potentially become clearer, manifesting as insights, intuitions, or a deepened sense of purpose. Throughout history, words have carried unparalleled influence, bearing witness to the creation of worlds the rise and fall of civilizations, and the molding of individual destinies. Words, intrinsically linked to emotions, hold the potential to heal or harm, elevate or demean, connect or alienate. This significance of words is underscored not only in human relations, but also in the realm of the spiritual, where they play an indispensable role in facilitating our connection with the divine. As stated in the book of John 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This sacred connection between words and God is evident in various faith traditions, highlighting the divine essence of our spoken and unspoken expressions. The emotional depth carried by words shapes our neural pathways, reinforcing the profound connection between language, feelings, and the brain's architecture. When words are spoken in love, kindness and understanding, they can pave pathways of light, opening our hearts and minds to the divine resonance. On the contrary, words tainted with malice or contempt might cloud our perception and stifle our spiritual growth. Consequently, the choices we make in our language, both towards others and ourselves, play a pivotal role in determining the clarity of our divine reception. By choosing words imbued with positivity and grace, we set the stage for a deeper communion with God, resonating with the frequencies of love, compassion, and understanding. 
However, this connection extends beyond just verbal expressions. Our emotional brain, the limbic system, constantly fluctuates, influenced by the world around us. These emotions, whether fleeting or enduring, profoundly affect our spiritual receptivity. The connection between our emotional states and our bond with God is intricate. A heart burdened with resentment or anger may struggle to find solace in divine communication, while a heart at peace, irrespective of external circumstances, can more effortlessly tune into God's whispers. We prepare our hearts to receive God's messages by managing our emotional tumults, calming the storms within. Moreover, our words and emotions intertwine, each influencing the other. As ancient scriptures highlight the perils of unbridled speech, modern neuroscience also points towards the effect of words on our emotional well-being. When one is tempted to lash out, it's essential to recall that the impact of such words isn't confined to the receiver. The speaker too bears the brunt. In such moments, seeking divine guidance can provide the clarity and restraint needed to navigate the situation. The psalmist's plea in Psalms 19 verse 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, underscores the intimate relationship between our words, emotions, and our quest for divine favor. The inherent adaptability of the human brain, often termed neuroplasticity, showcases its profound potential for growth and change throughout life. This malleability signifies not only our capacity to evolve and learn, but also the divine design that underscores our existence. At the crossroads of faith and neuroscience, one can discern a divine blueprint guiding our journey towards spiritual realization, cognitive growth, and ultimately, a closer relationship with God. Central to this journey is the law of cause and effect, a principle that transcends the physical realm and reverberates throughout our spiritual experiences. This timeless law, deeply embedded in various religious teachings, implies that every action, thought or emotion invariably produces a consequent reaction. On a neurological level, our actions, thoughts and feelings sculpt neural pathways, reaffirming patterns or introducing new ones. Spiritually, this law serves as a reminder of the divine accountability ingrained in our existence. As we sow seeds of kindness, compassion and love, we not only nourish our souls, but also invite God's blessings and guidance into our lives. The law of adaptation further emphasizes the brain's remarkable ability to change in response to experience. Two ancient proverbs elegantly capture this essence. He who walks with the wise grows wise. And do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Do not associate with one easily angered. These proverbs reflect the neurological truth that consistent exposure to particular stimuli or environments can rewire our brain influencing our perceptions, emotions, and behaviors. From a divine standpoint, God's guidance, as encapsulated in these proverbs, urges us to surround ourselves with positive influences, thereby facilitating our spiritual growth and evolution. Closely related is the law of choice, asserting our innate power to steer our destiny. Every decision, whether conscious or unconscious, shapes our neural pathways and consequently, our life trajectories. However, the spiritual dimension of this law is profound. God grants us free will, empowering us to make choices that either align us with divine purpose or divert us. With every choice, there's an opportunity to move closer to God, embracing paths that resonate with His teachings, or to stray, often lured by transient pleasures. Recognizing this divine gift of choice and exercising it judiciously enables a richer, spiritually fulfilling existence. The human brain's capacity to grow doesn't stop at pathways. It encompasses dendritic growth and even the genesis of new brain cells. Such cerebral wonders parallel the spiritual journey where constant learning and self-betterment enhance our understanding of God. The pursuit of knowledge be it scriptural or academic, serves as a testament to our desire to explore the divine mysteries that envelop our existence. The concept of neurogenesis, 
the birth of new neurons, also finds spiritual resonance. Just as the brain holds the potential for rejuvenation and growth, the soul, too, can undergo renewal. God's mercy and forgiveness offer a chance at redemption, enabling us to shed past burdens and start afresh. This divine grace, coupled with our inherent cerebral ability to adapt, underscores the endless possibilities for personal and spiritual growth. Yet, this growth isn't devoid of challenges. The brain and soul, both susceptible to external influences, require conscious effort to navigate distractions and temptations. Here, the law of diversion provides insight. It posits that when certain aspirations appear unattainable, the brain can redirect its focus towards other endeavors. Spiritually, this law serves as a reminder that even when confronted with closed doors, God often opens windows of opportunity. When one path seems obstructed, divine guidance can illuminate alternative routes, each offering unique lessons and growth prospects. Furthermore, the concept of shockers in brain development, intense experiences that stimulate growth, mirrors the trials and tribulations that refine our souls. Just as fasting, intense physical training, and sudden temperature changes can shock the brain into growth, life's challenges, ordained or allowed by God, can be the crucibles that refine our faith, resilience, and character. The intertwining of these laws, cause and effect, adaptation, choice, and diversion, paints a holistic picture of the human experience, both neurological and spiritual. The brain, with its intricate pathways and astounding adaptability, serves as a testament to God's magnificent design. Simultaneously, the divine laws that govern our existence offer a roadmap, guiding us towards spiritual ascension. In the vast universe of the human mind, the possibility of divine communication is both profound and plausible. By understanding the brain's mechanisms, its adaptability, and the power of words and emotions, one might find a pathway to deciphering these divine messages. The brain's complexities and marvels, interwoven with spiritual insights, paint a picture of a universe where science and faith are not at odds, but rather dance in a harmonious ballet, each enriching the other. Whether it's through the serendipity of a newfound understanding, a word spoken at the right moment, or even the silence amidst chaos, perhaps God is always speaking. The key lies in fine-tuning our minds and souls to listen 